Good evening and welcome back to our virtual Dominion Energy Jazz Cafe with a great mix of jazz and gospel. At a stage full of all familiar faces, we welcome Richard DeBru and Jazz in the Spirit. Jazz in the Spirit is a creative fusion of American jazz and gospel with influences from the African diaspora. It helps to create community by bringing together listeners of different styles and tastes. We hope that you enjoy this evening of Jazz in the Spirit.
Thank you, guys. Um, that was a song called Guide Me, and we hope that you all enjoy that one. We're going to go into the, uh, into a, I guess a song that was really well known um, because it was a favorite of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. It said, if I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living shall not be in vain.
I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living shall not be in vain. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to switch over to soprano now. This was a song that was written for a dear friend of mine years ago when she was going through some health challenges. And truly, I do. There's a whole bunch of good feeling. If you've been feeling a little bit under the weather, under the pandemic, you're kind of like, in your spirits have been low. We hope that this music will lift your spirits, because that's really what Jazz and the Spirit is all about. So I wish you well. Featuring Brother Weldon Hill.
wish you well. And I really do. <laughs> All right. So we're going to close out this first half. We call this the acoustic half. Some of you may be familiar with the now late great uh, Chick Corea, who was famous for having an acoustic sound and an electric sound. Jazz and the Spirit, we do as well. So you just heard the acoustic sound, even though I know some, some electric instruments up here, but um, you're going to hear from the electric sound in the second half. So, um, But before we do that, we're going to close out, take it up a little bit um, with this well-known hymn of the search. It's called When We All Get to Heaven. was a ride and uh, I'm in a half. I was telling you before we started, Richard, I have great memories, fond memories of my grandmother playing it at the Keys. Oh yeah. But she didn't do it like that. <laughs> they might have run out of it. They might have. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Boy, but I think you've all earned a break right now. Would you join me for a conversation? We'll get back to the show. Absolutely. Right over here. All right. Well, Richard DeBrew, mm -hmm. welcome back and thank you for that first set of music. Thank you. It's been quite some time since we've had an opportunity to sit down together. So before mm -hmm. we begin our conversation, would you remind folks at home a little bit more about who you are and how you mm -hmm. got into music? Sure. Well, I am a saxophonist and songwriter, and I love gospel jazz. That's mm -hmm. my specialty. And this particular repertoire that I have called Jazz in the Spirit, um, I, have, I just grew up in church, uh, listening to a lot of hymns, listening to the specific, specifically the music of the black church. And uh, also, my dad was a big jazz fan. Mm -hmm. And so uh, just hearing those in the house together, they just kind of naturally, organically blended in my consciousness. And so this is what comes out. <laughs> wow, I love that. So you mm -hmm. write, you arrange. Um, and when you're doing that, are you intentionally fusing gospel and jazz as you continue, or does it just naturally come out that way? It's, it depends on the situation. Sometimes when I'm trying to do something you know, specific, then yes. But other times, no, it just, it just kind of comes out that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and different songs kind of, um, you know, lend themselves to that. Or I might say, hmm, maybe I could do this in here. Mm -hmm. um, like I have this song called Look and Live. We didn't do it today, but, um, but it's on my, on my CD. And at one point, I remember specifically putting a, a chord progression in there that I heard first from John Coltrane, you mm -hmm. know. And then there's another part in there, the way that they say hallelujah, it's like hallelujah, it's more like in the jazz style and they're doing yeah. some scatting stuff. But then there's another part where they go hallelujah, like an open mouth one. And that's more from the church choir. So in those kinds of contexts, I was a little intentional, but a lot of times it's just organic. <laughs> you know, it's been, I was telling you earlier, I, it's been a while since I've done any church work mm -hmm. and I never worked in a church where we certainly there was gospel, but we weren't really fusing jazz into the music. Um, you're still in the game good and strong. You've been doing it forever. <laughs> How often do you run into other places or other people who are doing what you're doing by blending those two regularly? Actually, I, I, every month, because I meant to even tell you that I started um, my own show. It's called the Jazz and the Spirit Show, and I feature a different gospel jazz artist each month. Really? Yeah. On my social media, yeah. So, so all the, you know, um, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, I think even on Twitch, yeah. We on YouTube. So, Jazz in the Spirit, Jazz and Spirit video. So, we actually feature uh, a different person each month. So, yes, yeah, so I, I encounter them quite a bit. <laughs> and and uh, forgive me, I didn't know no about problem. this. Uh, mm -hmm. How does the show run? Is it a concert? Would it? No, would it's actually it? just. Uh, when we start, it's usually, it's short, the, the, um, uh, it's every Wednesday. Okay. And so the, when I start the month, it's usually about a half hour. And then later as, it, as the month goes on, about 15 minutes. So just James Brown would say, hit and quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hit it and quit it. Uh -huh. That's why we love Mr. Brown. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, uh, saxophone seems mm -hmm. to be the main instrument you, you're using. Why is it the, the sax? What brings you love to that instrument? Um, it's just a joy. It's my singing voice. Mm. Um, I play a lot of piano. And of course, you know, piano in many cases kind of pays the bills for me, mm -hmm. playing for church and other mm -hmm. things. But saxophone is the one that I probably had the most training on. But also, uh, you know, there was uh, my, my very first saxophone teacher, Brother Willie Mack, when I was 11 years old, he just inspired me, you know. And I think those teachers that make those impacts on you in those formative years, you know, often change the course of your life. And so it's, it's, it's been that in all those years, through Brown, through Berkeley, um, and now it's, it's just, it's my great love. <laughs> yeah, it's those great educators. We yes. say a lot on this broadcast that make the difference. Yes. You know, that's the story I tell people when they ask, well, how did you get to doing what you're doing? <sighs> Someone taught me good lessons. <laughs> I read good books. I, you know, anyone could have done it. It was a great educator. Right. That right. shifted the whole thing for me. You grew up in the church just like I did, mm -hmm. and you've stayed. Yes. Um, tell me about that. What made you decide to stick to the roots 
and to offer your gift to your congregations. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I drill this into my son a lot. Luke 12, 48 says, for unto whomsoever much is given of the same shall much be required. Um, and so I've been given a lot. The, the church uh, poured a lot into me in my formative years. And so I decided that I wanted to give back from what I've been given. Um, that was, uh, it was in the church where I met one of my great idols, Mr. Max Roach. And had I not been there in church, I would have never met him. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's definitely worth it. Um, you know, whether or not I'll always be a minister of music per se, you know, running the choirs and all that, who knows. But it's, um, it's something that it's, I'll, I'll always be in church some kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> I miss my work with choral groups. And yes. Choral music mm -hmm. is really where my heart is. I'll sing and I'll conduct all day long, but just to sit in a choir, uh, the rehearsal is what it does it for me, you know, mm -hmm. working together on that same anthem, whatever it might be. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Start, we going to get you to come on through. You better call me. That's I'm right. going to come out. <laughs> I, I was telling you, I'm available. Hey, I haven't done very much at all. Let's go. Last time I performed was December. Let's see. Uh, schedule mm -hmm. wide open. <laughs> You're starting at a new, new congregation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Mount Olive Baptist Church in Glen Allen, um, Pastor Daryl Thompson. And yeah, it's, it's, it's just just started. And so we're, um, we're just excited. We're getting to know each other slowly but mm -hmm. surely. Um, they've been very welcoming to me so far, and I'm very excited to just share um, from what I've been given to them. And, uh, you know, just looking for the Lord to do some amazing things. What are you intending to do with the program? Um, well, they have been, um, you know, during the pandemic, they have been mostly kind of focusing on a praise team and God bless them every Sunday, the same group mm -hmm. for two years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we're starting to, to branch more into a choir um, and choirs. So, um, so that's, that's a, you know, one of the things, but also just creating the excitement. The yeah. church has reopened, so they're still doing virtual, but they're also, um, you know, in, in person too. So we're trying to just, get the energy and the enthusiasm going. Yeah, we've all learned that hybrid world. Yes, you know, Lord. Plenty of ministers in my family and they're doing the same thing. <laughs> Still on Facebook or YouTube, whatever it is every week. That's right. But someone's coming in the door to worship with them. And it's a beautiful thing, I think. You mm -hmm. can reach more or sometimes we, in church, we talk about the sick and shut-ins. Yes. Well, now they can be a part of it too. That's right. You know, we, I love that. Mm -hmm. Tonight, mm -hmm. we are getting to listen to one of your singles that's getting quite a bit of airtime. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Okay, so uh, the song is called Celebrate, and I wrote it originally for my 50th birthday, hey, <laughs> which was two years ago. <laughs> I don't mind saying it, um, but it's, it's a blessing. Um, and I also don't mind saying, you know, as a 50-year-old black man, that's a reason to celebrate. Hey. And so I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, but I recorded it uh, in this year, in 2022, and I released it, and it's been playing um, in various stations um, across the country, but specifically here in Richmond. I really appreciate um, Richmond's, uh, Richmond, Rejoice Richmond, uh, 101.3 and 990 AM, mm -hmm. uh, 101.3 FM and 990 AM, and uh, Brother Randy Johnson has been an announcer that's been very supportive. He's played some other songs of mine, too, and so I wanted to give us a taste of it tonight. It's got kind of like a, you know, kind of like a New Orleans inspired mm -hmm. flavor. A um, little second line going, a little mm -hmm. rhythmic counterpoint <laughs> happening. So both the gospel and the jazz and, you know, the nexus, you could really think of that in New Orleans. All you got to do is think of a song like When the Saints Go Marching In. You yes. hear them both. Yeah. So that's kind of the spirit. That's right. Uh -huh. da, 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 da. That's how they play it. In New Orleans. <laughs> Right, with the hats and the umbrellas uh -huh. and the, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So Jazz in the Spirit is, has not always been as mm -hmm. you perform. Mm -hmm. um, there's an album, Jazz yes. in the Spirit. How do we find it? Um, you can go to my website, which is www.jazzinthespirit.com. I'm also on Facebook, that's Jazz in the Spirit. YouTube, Jazz in the Spirit video. Twitter, Jazz in the mm -hmm. Spirit. Um, Instagram, Jazz in the Spirit, uh, all of those. Um, but the album is called Jazz in the Spirit. And that came out in, on Juneteenth of 2020. And so uh, it's still going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we, there's a physical CD that you can purchase at my website, but you can also download it, stream it, all those other things. So definitely appreciate the support. For sure, as you're going forward, 
with performing projects and recording projects, it seems to me, it occurs to me, that Jazz in the Spirit will remain. Where do you hope the program goes in the future? Mm, well, ultimately, as I was telling you with the, with the Jazz in the Spirit show, I'm hoping to just find more and more like-minded gospel jazz musicians and to really bring that particular style of music more to the fore. Mm -hmm. Because right now, you're either a gospel musician and you're, there's a gospel market, or you're a jazz musician and mm -hmm. there's a jazz market. But there's a gospel jazz market that exists kind of under the radar. And I'm hoping to get us a little bit out from under the radar, <laughs> right, yeah. more into the forefront, uh, do more. There's nothing wrong with doing more, more jazz in the spirit or, or gospel jazz festivals, concerts, tours, um, the, whole, the whole deal. So, so that's what I'm hoping to do, to just you know, blow the doors off of this thing and really um, get it out there. So, because people, when they hear it, they love it, mm -hmm. but they just don't get to hear it that often. Mm -hmm. So thank you all and the museum so much for the opportunity. For sure. Mm -hmm. Very well, thank and you for course, coming to play. Yes. If well, you're not here, I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> See? Mm, that can be arranged too, by the way. Well, I, I keep telling you, <laughs> keep making threats. I'm gonna show Let's up. Let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna be right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've worked with a lot of hymns, mm -hmm. and I, like I said before, I've never tried to fuse gospel and jazz right. the way you have successfully done mm -hmm. it. I'm curious about your approach. Mm -hmm. You played tonight um, when we all get to heaven, oh, which yes. is a good and fun piece. Yeah, tore it up. <laughs> Thank so you. How do you take it from its raw form in mm -hmm. a hymnal? and give us that. <laughs> <laughs> well, in some, you know how you asked, it do, does it come in, you know, intentionally or, you know, one of the things that um, it's really not that different from uh, quote unquote shout tempo. Cause mm -hmm. you know, when you see people, it's really not that different than a do 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 what a bass player would do in a jazz group. Okay. It's just certain chord changes certain approaches and in certain licks. But really, it wasn't that hard to fuse those two. Um, and I'm not even sure when I came up with that one, but the song, of course, has been in, in my spirit for years and years. But I think um, one of the really fun things, especially from like the bebop era, they used to have these songs at these really fast tempos as a way to sort of show their dexterity and virtuosity. Um, and you know, Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, some of the great legends. Um, and they would have these songs that do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. So this was kind of the spirit behind that um, to honor their legacy and certainly so many who have come since then. Um, so I, I, I hoped to do that, but in a, in a spiritual context, mm -hmm. you know, so that you know, we think about when we all get to heaven, it's a celebration too. So. I love so much when musicians sit down and say something and draw a through line to, through history mm -hmm. just from talking. You talked about bebop showing off with their fast tempos. That made me think <laughs> of Vivaldi oh, yes. showing off with his fast tempos. Bel Canto in my world with all those mm -hmm. ornaments. Paganini. They have, of course, Paganini, yes. <laughs> right. Sometimes read about them, people were annoyed by their show off <laughs> yeah. scale. But boy, we're still talking about them today. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oscar Peterson, yep. Art Tatum, you know, yeah, yeah, John yeah, Coltrane, never going anywhere. so many. Mm -hmm. Beyond church, yes. Where can we hear you play? Um, well, uh, right now, <laughs> my show, but um, I do a lot of private functions. But I have actually been at the Wing Command restaurant okay. um, on Hall Street a few times publicly, and then. Um, you know, we played here a few times, <laughs> but uh, I'd say just check the website because I'm working on a few things, um, but they haven't been confirmed yet, so I didn't want to announce them publicly. But definitely check out my show um, on all of those, you know, the Jazz and the Spirit, um, the platforms, and we'll let you know what I'm doing and when they can find me. Well, we'll be opening our stages back up here real soon. Awesome. And I imagine you'll be up there blowing that horn and maybe at the piano. Hey, let's do it. Anytime now. That'll be awesome. Well, Richard, we've got another set to get out of you mm -hmm. and a lot more energy coming <laughs> from the two horns you brought tonight. Are you ready to give it to us? Let's go. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Well, I don't know what you come to do, but I've come to lift him up. And that's what we're about to do right now. John. Ha <laughs> ha!
Ah, that's the one.
don't know what you come to do. <laughs> All right. So now that we got your heart pumping a little bit, we're going to go easy a little bit. This is another great hymn of the church. It's called Love Lifted Me. When nothing else could help. This is a, this is a good song for the pandemic. When nothing else could help. Love Lifted Me.
nothing else could help. Love lifted me. So we're approaching the season of Mother's Day and Father's Day real soon. And there's an old song. Y'all know I love my hymns. Grew up in an old Baptist church, so that's, they're in me. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think a bunch of y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, this is a song called Faith of Our Fathers. It's also called Faith of Our Mothers. So I put them together and called it Faith of Our Fathers and Mothers. Thank you. 
faith of our fathers and mothers has brought us through. All right. <laughs> Slow it down a little bit now. This is a song called Just Because. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
because all right we're getting ready to get out of here but there's one song that's actually been on the radio recently it's a, a new single that i have called celebrate and it's actually on if you you've listened to it's not a major station but it's definitely a faithful station which i really appreciate rejoice richmond uh 101.3 fm and 990 am they have been playing my song celebrate every day for the last couple of months. And so I want to give you all a little taste of it. Um, it's got kind of like a New Orleans flavor, and I wrote it um, to celebrate my birthday when it came up. So uh, I hope that you all have a reason to celebrate, too. All right, Mr. Johnny. Mm-hmm. 
Celebrate, y'all. Whatever it is, however it is. That Celebrate. Is. God bless y'all. That is definitely a celebration of sight and sound. I like these moves back here, gentlemen. And Richard, your whole face ought to be tired. <laughs> After that, that was some impressive range of play. And I, what, it, you had a ball. There you go. Absolutely in the spirit. Well, jazz in the spirit. Thank you for coming and bringing a taste of it for us here tonight. Richmond Jazz Society, thank you for sending them to us, for supporting jazz and the arts in the city and venues like this. To Dominion Energy for continuing to sponsor and help to pay for programs like this one so we can keep loving that jazz in the spirit. Amen. Remember, Tommy Productions been on the other end of those cameras more often than not. Thank you for being here again and to Chris Buford mixing the sounds again from that booth. To those of you at home, we thank you for loving with us. We thank you for listening to us and we thank you for learning from us. In Richmond, Virginia, at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts on the Leslie Cheek Theater stage, this has been our virtual Dominion Energy Jazz Cafe. Until next time, I'm Robert Fennard. Good night. <laughs>